What is a tornado, and how does, a tornado form? A tornado is, a rapidly rotating column of air, that reaches from a storm cloud, to the ground. In most cases, a tornado is visible as, a funnel cloud. A tornado is also known as, a twister. Tornadoes are considered, some of the most powerful, and destructive weather events, in the world. Tornadoes form, when warm humid air, collides with cold, dry air. What we know so far is that, a tornado usually begins, with a thunderstorm. But not just any thunderstorm. It begins, with an extremely large type of thunderstorm, called a supercell storm, that has a deep rotating updraft. Supercells often produce, very strong winds, large hail, powerful downpours, great flashes of lightning, and sometimes tornadoes. But, for a tornado to form, some other very specific weather conditions, are also required. The conditions, that may give rise to one tornado, won't necessarily cause another. How does, a tornado form? When the sunshine heats the ground, air near ground level, is warmed and rises, forming cumulus clouds, at low levels. But if the atmosphere is unstable, this warm air will continue to rise, to far greater heights, and create very tall thunderstorm clouds called, cumulonimbus clouds. As the warm air climbs, it can change direction, and start to move more quickly. The denser cold air, coming down from, the top of the storm cloud, slides down, under the warm air, and pushes the warm air upwards, very fast. Then the higher, fast moving air, begins to spin and roll, over the slower air below, creating an invisible, horizontal spinning effect, in the lower atmosphere, like a cylinder. As the winds continue to build up, stronger and more powerful, warm air forces, the spinning winds vertically upward, causing an updraft. Thunderstorms that exhibit persistent, and deep rotating updrafts, such as these are known as, supercells. And with an increase in speed, and strength, the column of spinning winds, create a vortex, enclosed by the storm, and we call this, a mesocyclone. Outside cool, dry, sinking air, starts to wrap around this mesocyclone, and creates a downdraft. This results, in a vast temperature difference, between the inside, and outside, of the mesocyclone. Downdraft within the supercell storm, help to bring this column down to, lower levels. Eventually, the rotation may become, so strongly focused, that a narrow column of, violently rotating air forms. If this, violently rotating column of air, touches the ground, it becomes a tornado. When this happens, the tornado destroys, everything in its path, posing a huge threat, to life and property. Tornadoes can be very violent. This is, due to their extremely high, rotating wind speeds. Their high speed winds, can break apart buildings, uproot trees, and even, toss cars into the air. And sometimes, kill or injure people, and animals, by rolling them along the ground, or dropping them, from dangerous height. Most tornadoes are small, and short-lived. They last only less than 10 minutes, and travel around, 5 to 10 kilometers, before vanishing. But they can cause, enormous damage in that amount of time. Massive tornadoes, the ones capable of widespread destruction, and many deaths, can last for hours, and span miles in diameter, reaching up to, 300 miles per hour in speed. Tornadoes can dissipate, when the temperature difference disappears, and conditions grow more stable. Tornadoes occur all over the world. The United States, gets hit the most, but Canada, South Africa, and Bangladesh also see, a fair amount of tornadoes. The deadliest tornado, ever recorded was, in Dhaka region of Bangladesh, in 1989. More than 20 villages, were leveled, and around 1,300 people, were killed. Tornadoes have occurred, on every continent, except Antarctica. Where no warm air, means no tornadoes. The formation of a tornado, is so complex, that it is not completely understood, as to how exactly, tornadoes form, grow, and die. And there is much detail, that remains to be fully understood, by scientists.